Hey ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go ahead and look at unit two, note seven. We are gonna solve multi-step radical equations now. So we kind of looked at this yesterday. We're gonna go ahead and expand on it today. So questions that you need to ask yourself. These are the ones from last week, or from the last unit. Anything being added or subtracted. So what you wanna do is you wanna get the radical alone, basically. So once the radical is alone, you need to square it to get rid of it. Okay, so remember the square root and the square cancel each other out. These are the new questions then. Basically, they're going to have an equation left that you're going to have to go through and you're going to have to try to solve. Okay, so when you do that, you're going to get your answer and then you always have to plug it back in and check your answer to see if it works or if it's no solution. All right, let's look at this example. 8 times the square root of x minus 3 equals 16. So remember, what I do is I highlight or box everything underneath the radical. So the radical and everything underneath it. Anything that's not highlighted is what you're trying to get rid of then. So I need to get rid of that times in by eight. That is multiplication. So to undo multiplication, I divide. That's gonna cancel my eights out. So I'm left with the square root of x minus three equals two. So now since the radical is alone or everything that was highlighted is alone, I can go ahead and I can square both sides. That's gonna undo the square root and the square, so I'm left with exactly what was underneath. 2 squared is 4. So from here, this is all the new part, basically. You're going to go ahead and you're going to get rid of basically anything that's not an x. You're solving for x. So to undo um, subtracting 3, we're going to add 3 to both sides. So x is going to equal 7. So I know, based off of the information from last time, where I can't square a negative number because that's no solution. I know this is a good answer, but let's double check it to make sure. So I'm going to plug it in to what I see, 7 minus 3, and I want to see if that equals 16. So we're not trying to get rid of anything and move anything over to the other side. We are just solving this left-hand side. So 7 minus 3 is 4. The square root of 4 is 2. 8 times 2 is 16. So this is a good answer, and I'm done with the problem. Let's look at this one now. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight the radical and everything underneath it. So I need to get rid of that 3 on the outside. That's being multiplied by 3, so undo multiplication. We're going to divide. So I'm going to be left with the square root of x plus 4 equals 5. Since everything that was highlighted is all that's left, I'm going to go ahead and square both sides. I get x plus 4 is going to equal 25. And we're going to solve for x. So we're going to subtract 4 from both sides. So x is going to equal 21. Again, I did not square a negative number right here at this point. So I know that this should be an answer, but let's double check our work. So 3 times the square root of 21 plus 4. See if that equals 15. So 21 plus 4 is 25. The square root of 25 is 5. 3 times 5 is 15, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's my answer. Let's look at this, this one now. So highlight everything underneath the radical. We got to get rid of everything that's not highlighted, so I got to divide by 5 first. So I'm left with square root of x plus 1 equals 1. Since everything that was highlighted is alone, I'm going to square both sides to get rid of that square root. I get x plus 1 equals 1 squared, which is 1. And then we subtract 1 to solve for x, so x is 0. Should be my answer. Let's double check. So I'm going to plug in 0 plus 1, see if that equals 5. 0 plus 1 is 1. The square root of 1 is 1. So I get 5 equals 5, which is a true statement. So that's my answer. Let's switch it up a little bit now. So highlight everything underneath the radical. What's left now that's not highlighted is that plus 9. So to undo plus 9, we're going to subtract 9. So I'm going to be left with the square root of 2x minus 3 equals negative 4. Now, right here, you would be squaring because that's all that's left is the highlighted stuff. Anytime you are squaring a negative number, so see how I'd be squaring that negative 4? That right there tells me this answer is going to be no solution. Okay, and I could stop and be done. But let's say you didn't see that. Let's keep going. So I'd have 2x minus 3 equals 16. Add 3. So 2x is going to equal 19. Divide by 2. I would get x equals 9.5. So if I plug that in, 
I get the square root of 2 times 9.5 minus 3, add 9 equals 5. So I'd have the square root of 19 minus 3 plus 9 equals 5. I'd have the square root of 16 plus 9 equals 5. Square root of 16 is 4 plus 9 would give me 13, which does not equal 5. So that's how I know it's that no solution again. It does not plug back in and give me what I want it to equal. But again, it, it comes from right here. When you are squaring a negative number, you know that that's no solution and you can stop and be done right away. Let's look at this one. I have the square root of 3x plus 1 minus 2 equals 6. That minus 2 is outside of the highlighted, so I'm going to get rid of that first by adding 2. So I have the square root of 3x plus 1 equals 8. All the stuff that was highlighted is alone, so I can square both sides at that point. I get 3x plus 1 equals 64. And now we're just going to keep solving. So minus 1, I get 3x equals 63. Divide by 3, I'm going to get x equals 21. Now we should be good because we didn't square a negative number, but let's just double check. So I'm going to do 3 times 21 plus 1 minus 2 equals 6. So I'm going to get the square root of 63 plus 1 minus 2 equals 6. Square root of 64. Square root of 64 is 8 minus 2, which does give me 6. So that is a good answer. All right, let's look at this last one here. Highlight the radical and everything underneath. I have two things outside the highlighted part that I have to get rid of. Now I have the timesing by 3 and the adding 5. You always want to get rid of the adding thing first. So 23 minus 5 is 18. The highlighted part is not alone. So we still have this piece highlighted. We need to get rid of that timesing by 3. So we're going to divide by 3. So I'm going to have the square root of x minus 4 equals 6. Now the highlighted is all alone. I can square both sides x minus 4 equals 36. Solve for x. So you're going to get x equals 40. Again, we didn't square a negative number, so this should be good, but we can always check. So 3 times 40 minus 4 plus 5 equals 23. So you have 3 times the square root of 36 plus 5 equals 23. 3 times 6 plus 5 equals 23. I get 18 plus 5 which does give me 23 equals 23. So I know that I'm good to go. All right, if you have any questions, reach out to me. Otherwise, good luck on that assignment.